everyone, I am Simsui and welcome to this speed building, speed building, speed building. Welcome to the speed building video where I will be creating a wedding dress boutique. First off, I want to say that this is the second time I'm filming the first half voiceover of this video because the first time I filmed the first, I've said first a million times, the first time I filmed the first 10 minutes of this voiceover. I went to export it and for some reason Audacity like didn't save it right or something. I don't know, but the first 10 minutes of this video is going to be this voiceover is refilmed and then you'll see the 10 minutes afterwards and if I'm like referencing something that happened earlier in the voiceover and you're like, you never said that, it's because it got caught out or whatever. But basically, let's start talking about this build. This build was inspired by wedding dresses, obviously, and just that I saw a lot of really pretty custom content wedding dresses and I was like I need to use them now but none of my sims are really getting married soon and I was like well this would be fun and I decided to do it yep yep and this lot will be up for download on the gallery my origin ID is real sim sweetie it is also in the description so if you want to check that out then you can I'm trying to remember things that I said the first time around that I'm like that's important to say but yes, and I know I'm not the best builder, but I'm just I'm trying to get better. Practice makes perfect, you know. And I think the more I do it, the better I kind of get at it. As you can tell, this is kind of a boxy building. I don't know, but I feel like a lot of stores are kind of boxy. It's not like a house. I feel like boxy houses look worse than boxy buildings. I don't know. And after this, I'm probably gonna go like watch some deligracy videos because I, I need to get out of my comfort zone more. I feel like what I've been making lately has just been very, you know, Victorian and all that kind of stuff. But I wanna do like a modern build. I do a lot of kind of like Victorian inspired just because I build most of the time in Willow Creek and you know, that is kind of Victorian. But I need to do some like Oasis Springs building and like just switch it up a little bit. But yes, and there was something I wanted to say that just left my mind. Oh yes, also I was like, when I went to build this, I was like, you know, I'm gonna do a real quick video. Just real quick, real quick speed build. And two hours later, it was done. So yes, this was two hours. It has sped up quite a lot. Hopefully it doesn't make you nauseous from all the turning of the camera. I just didn't want to leave it like a 30 minute video. But I try to keep my spill, my spit, my, 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 spit, my, my speed build videos fairly short because I don't know, they're not as interesting to me as like let's play videos are or anything. So I try to keep it short, but it does not always work out. Didn't work out this time. And when I build, I jump all around. So I'm like, you know, doing walls and then I'm like doing couches and then I'm doing floors and just what is going on I don't know but and I did build with the cheat that lets you like unlock everything from the career so I had a lot of fun because it felt like I found new furniture because I never really knew that cheat existed but now I do and I am pretty freaking excited about it I just hit my microphone by the way if you could hear that but what I kind of did was a very nice pastel and light colors theme, but I did like a darker floor, so kind of contrasted nicely. And I just thought it would be fun to have like a wedding, or not a wedding place, but like a wedding dress place, that's what it's called. I yelled, I could see an audacity, it's like, it suddenly spikes right then. But to have a wedding dress place where you're all excited, your sims just got engaged, and then you can go and like actually buy a wedding dress. I'm totally going to be using this in my let's plays not gonna lie and i think next i want to i want to do more building videos i was kind of getting better about doing them and then i kind of stopped but i want to do them a little bit more i mean i really haven't built anything since my bakery build for my get to work let's play i don't think i built anything since then anyway so i want to do it a little more often you know i was a little rusty here and i definitely need to work on it a bit more but um i do think i want to do i think i want to do like a let's build series that's like not speed build so if you guys have any suggestions for that that you would like to see then i would be down to do one i don't know the reason i don't really do stuff like that is because i'm like i don't know what to put here and uh, you know, there's just like 20 minutes of me flipping in between windows because i'm terrible at figuring out what windows to put in and what lighting to do in this build you'll see me you'll see me struggle a lot with putting in windows but you know 
And this, oh, I should explain what I'm doing a little bit more instead of rambling off. This area, I didn't put, well, there are three dress, there are three dresses. I've done a lot of talking right now, guys, sorry. I put three dresses in the window storefront area, kind of, right up there. So when you walk by, you can see them. So you could technically buy those. But like in my head, you wouldn't have to put them for sale. I wouldn't put them for sale, but you could, whatever. Doesn't really matter because it is a real, really? I cannot speak. It is a retail lot, so if you could, you could own this if you wanted to. I think it ended up being close to around 70,000, 80,000 simoleons. It's not really a cheap lot, but I mean, it's not ridiculously expensive really either. I don't know. And what I did was I put in this area kind of like the, I don't know what to call it, like a lounging area because I've never really been in a wedding dress boutique, but whenever you watch shows like, I don't know, Say Yes to the Dress or something, it seems like, you know, they come in and everyone who they brought is like sitting on the couches and they're like, so what kind of wedding dress did you envision? And that's kind of what I made this area. And the downstairs is more like purple and stuff and then the upstairs you'll see is more like blue and mint green. You will see that eventually though. And then that other room that I don't think I really started working on at this point in the build is like an office area. So if you did own it, then you could have like an office to go in on the computer. But if you, like I said, if you did own it and you cared about it, if that makes sense, you could download the mod that makes you able to lock doors. You could lock out like everyone but the Sims who own it. Just a thought. And I really didn't know what to do with that room, so that's kind of what I did. And I also kind of played around a lot. I didn't know if I wanted to do really, like, modern or Victorian theme. It, it ended up being a little bit of a mix of both. It's not super modern, but, like, there's some glass elements. And I would say it's more, like, vintage Victorian theme, to be honest, because that's what I always do. Like I said, I definitely need to kind of try to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. And, okay, I'm just seeing how much longer I have to do, because I have to, like, cut this off at 10 minutes so I can get back to like the original commentary. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I exported this out of Audacity and it totally, totally didn't work. So I was like, cool. Oh, and the other thing I want to do soon is like a room speed build. Cause I never done just a room and I forget you can do that. Cause I really never used the feature myself of like just placing down a room. <sighs> I don't know. But yes, and I am looking at paintings here. I ended up using this painting later in the build, so you will see it then. It's a really cool painting. I've never really seen it before. I don't know if it's a painting though. I don't know, I found it. I think it was because I was using Bidey Bug or something. Anyway, or well, the equivalent of Bidey Bug, because I don't think it's called Bidey Bug. Anyway, here I am struggling with windows. I literally worked on curtains for like 90 million years because they were just not working out. The problem with Sims 4 not having like creative style is because I wanted like pastel curtains and I just could not find them. So I was trying to do purpley and I was just like, this is not working out. So I got rid of all the curtains because I was not feeling it at all. And yeah, I was like, I almost forgot about windows because I was like trying to fill up. I was like, there's so much empty wall space. What's going on here? But then I was like, curtains or not curtains, windows. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> I've done like 30 minutes of talking at this point because this, this, this beginning part did not work out. But I might be, I might seem more energetic in the second half of this voiceover because I hadn't filmed like 30 minutes of voiceover at that point. Anyway, here I am messing around with curtains. I know this is so exciting. I'm like, look at these curtains. I always do the same windows too. I feel like I need to do... The next build I'll do will be like a me getting out of my comfort zone <laughs> build. And if you guys have any requests for rooms or building or anything like that that you would want to see, go ahead and comment them down below. I think I kind of said before I'm not the best builder, still getting to get better, but... I am so jealous of people who are talented at building. It's just, it's amazing what some people can do. I'm like, wow, okay. And then there's me, like, what kind of curtains do I put here? And yes, I do try to kind of do the accent wall kind of thing. I do that a lot, you know, with the pastels this time and stuff like that. And I also tried to use like the expanding kind of tool using the brackets key because I kind of forget about that a lot. And I was like, you know what? I should, I should do that. So I think I used it a couple times. This build, I also, I, this is everything I'm not good at. I also struggle with lighting. I was kind of debating on using by debug lights, but I don't know where they are. And I've heard that when you upload it to the gallery, they don't like, it doesn't upload that too. 
And we're almost done with this part of the voiceover, and then we'll get back to the part that didn't get messed up. Cool, cool. Okay, what are we doing here? Putting a rug in. Yes, I put some rugs in downstairs, and I used some wall lights. True, true. Um, okay, we are just about to get back to the normal voiceover. Yay, right? Now Sorry about that, my microphone cut off for a second. Well, my computer actually fell asleep, but I have returned because I wasn't moving my mouse and my computer was like, now's a good time to fall asleep because I was at the 10 minute mark. And anyway, um, I have lost my spot. Okay, it looks like I'm kind of putting the finishing touches on the bottom floor right now. I'm adding a railing to the stairs and working on the floor or something. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'm working on the office a little bit more. Oh yeah, I put some mirrors in here. Like I said, there wasn't a lot going on in that office area. So I was like, let's just slop some mirrors in here. And I'm working on the kind of lounge quote unquote area over there with some lighting and I think I'm actually maybe starting on the second floor now that would be great and I added the railing fence kind of thing right here and this is when I started to work on the shape of the top floor like I've said in the prior parts of this video I am not good with shapes of buildings they end up like awkward squares I kind of tried to get out of my comfort zone a little bit in this build but it's not that far to my comfort zone so I have to work on like really getting out there but I thought this looked like kind of a believable shape of a store but I don't know how it went and this room right here is kind of gonna be the public bathroom area because I always just forget to put bathrooms <laughs> in the like public buildings that I built they just it never happened so I was like you know what this time I'm gonna put bathrooms in here because I feel like my sims are always out and they have to use the bathroom and then the law we're at doesn't have the bathroom and I'm like oh my goodness so this time I thought ahead and it's a pretty nice bathroom because I mean it's a pretty nice building so it looks quite fancy you know when you're in a place or like a public place and for some reason, it wouldn't let me enlarge the mirrors. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, you know when you're in like a public place and they have a really fancy public bathroom and you're just like, hmm, this is luxury. Just saying, because I have been in some nasty public bathrooms before. You know, I think the worst, well to me, in my opinion, I think the worst are like beach bathrooms. They're disgusting. They are disgusting. <sighs> anyway. What is going on here? Oh yes, I'm doing some flooring right now, and then I put a door in right there. And I think we can actually start working on putting in the... Nope, okay. And now we're putting in the mm, cashier area, I guess is what it's called. This big glass table is so cool, and I'm so sad I couldn't put the cash register on it. I cried. Not really, but pretty much and I did end up just I put in the really fancy counters because I was like why not so I just went ahead and slapped that in I put it or no I didn't use the fancy counters I used the second fanciest counters true true and then I put a window right behind there and I wasn't really sure what to make like the wall height on the bottom the wall height is the tallest I feel like it just looks best in this area of Willow Creek oh no but it's the tallest, and then the second floor, I think, is, like, the lowest. I like doing the lowest, but I don't know. I I was trying to work with some taller wall heights, that's what it's called. <laughs> and then I started just throwing in some mannequins to disperse throughout the lot. And I really wanted to put these... What they're called? Uh, what they called? What they called? These... Seriously, like, cushions? They're not cushions, but they're, like things you sit well I mean I'd, I know chairs but they're not really chairs like a sofa without a back I don't know <laughs> that was a real good description and I wanted to kind of divide it up a little bit because I didn't like it just being one big space so I did put these walls in here and what is going on here okay it froze for a second I panicked I was like what's happening I thought everything was about to crash but it's all good <laughs> I was like oh no I'm gonna have to stop this voiceover but that middle kind of section area right there is where I thought you could buy like maybe bridesmaid dresses and accessories and stuff. So that's why I put in a bunch of these like clothing racks and you could just like look through them. I don't know. That's kind of what I was going for. I put them in a bunch of different colors. I messed with the colors for like way longer than I should have. 
and uh, yeah, look at me changing those colors to your excitement. And then in the middle right there, you can see those seating thingamabobs I was describing. And then I threw in some windows, and then I tried to do some curtains, and I was like, nope, not working out. <laughs> Still trying to do curtains. Okay. And then I started to put the mannequins in the rooms, and I put these, like, pedestal bush things <laughs> in there too. It's probably not a thing. And I tried to kind of section it off in a couple different ways. I used like fencing and then like the fencing stopped working. So then I did like a wall. Oh, it was difficult. But I think I ended up using a wall. Like, oh my god, I'm throwing the camera around so much right now. I'm like making myself nauseous. Oh my goodness. And I worked on some lighting. I used these get to work. I believe they're from lights. And then these also these also wall lights though no. and then these wall lights also that I or just base game and I put those everywhere this probably would have been a nice lot to build with when luxury what is that what's the stuff pack coming out soon called luxury party stuff whatever this would have been such a good thought I should have wait oh well too late I already built it and then here I'm messing around with the paintings and I ended up using that painting because I was like that's a pretty paint is it a painting actually might not be a painting I don't know what it is. I just found it and I was like, it's pretty. It's real pretty. Anyway, getting distracted. What are we doing now? Oh, windows. I feel like every time I'm like, what's going on? Oh, I'm putting in windows. Just every time. And then I divided it off with another wall and I tried to do like, I don't, it just, the fence stopped working for some reason and it was like invisible and I was like, Okay, so I went ahead and gave up on that eventually and just left it open even though I think it, I don't know, it might have looked like weird with that fence there, so maybe it was for the best, maybe it was in a game telling me, nope, that does not look good there, so, you know, I won't judge. And then there was this like little, I don't know, it was an awkward little area right there, so I put another one of those column pedestal things right there, it kind of made it a little bigger, yeah. And, um, what is going on here? What am I doing? I'm like throwing the camera around. I think I'm kind of seeing how it looks at all angles. Yeah. And I messed around with mannequin placement a little bit more. And then I put in some rugs. Just to make it feel a little more... What's the word? Like full, I guess, would be a word to describe that. And I put a little rug in right here in a blue color yeah the top floor is kind of like mint green and then some like light blue that's what I was kind of going for and on the bottom it's definitely more of like light pink and light purple just saying and I put some lights in the bathroom because you need to see in there <clears throat> and my voice is starting to go away because I've been talking for like 17 minutes now it has been a while and I'm gonna shake my mouse so my computer doesn't fall asleep because that would be tragic and what are we doing here Oh, I, there was like this empty corner right here, so I just decided to put something in there. I think I put in like a uh, end table. That's what it's called. An end table, I think. Hiccuping. I know it's called an end. Yeah, I did put an end table, and then I believe I put some flowers on top of there. I used to like never use plants or flowers whenever I built, but I'm trying to get better about that now. And a mirror, because I mean, you would kind of need to see yourself if you're trying on wedding dresses. I did that there. And I put another mirror in by, like, the bridesmaid accessory area room. And I'm looking around, looking around. What am I doing? Um, oh, yes, I went ahead and fixed some more of the lights because I wanted to. I put a lamp in this corner because it was another empty corner. There needs to be better floor lamps, I think. There's just not a lot of good floor lamps. But the blue kind of went with the theme. And here is when I added the mint green. <clears throat> My voice sounds really weird in this video. I apologize for that. Oh, and then I started working on the front. I kind of wanted to do like this. I don't know. I wanted it to match the other buildings with the cement. Like, cement on the ground. But I also wanted to do some greenery. So the front half doesn't have like the cement, but the back half does. Yes, that was kind of what I ended up doing and I tried to do stairs and it wasn't letting me so I was like you know what never mind we're not gonna use the foundation because the stairs are not working out but I did this like curved uh, fence I suppose so when you walk up it's like I don't know I don't know I didn't want to do it like straight well straight diagonal kind of 
sounds like an oxymoron but you know just like diagonal because it didn't seem exciting enough so yeah I don't know but I just ended up getting rid of the cement in the front area I wanted to put flowers in anyway so I was like you know what whatever we don't need that I used flowers from outdoor retreat I believe I'm pretty sure yeah I did I love these flowers I think I, I use them all the time or I want to use them all the time <laughs> So you probably see them a lot, but you know, what can you do? And when I put the cement in the back, I put like a fence around it to kind of tie it all together. There is where I got rid of the foundation because I was like, okay, it's not working out. And then I got rid of some of the cement also and filled in some of the cement and then I put the fence around it and I messed with that fence a lot because I was like, oh, I hate it. I don't like it. And I see me just looking at it like, what am I going to do here? Because I don't know, I feel like some of the lots, this lot, oh, I hit my microphone. This lot was kind of bigger than it needed to be, so I had a lot of like empty space in the back, but I was like, okay, we'll just, we'll fence it all in. There we go. And I wanted to add some trimmings, and I wouldn't, I don't know, maybe you can't add trimmings to the very top of a building. I don't know, but I just added a fence on top and a trimming in the middle, and I think it really kind of pulled it together, or at least I hope it did. And we're gonna be wrapping this up soon, so we're should I wrap it up now? I should. So at the end there will be some screenshots. Again, you can download this on the gallery. And yeah, make sure to subscribe. I will talk to you all later. And yeah, yet again. <laughs> Bye!